Hi, everyone, and welcome to yet another session of vocabulary words for you. Now, our first word is indefatigable. Now, indefatigable means being always determined and energetic in trying to achieve something. So if you are always eager to achieve something new in your life, to reach your goals, to, you know, claim your aims, then you are indefatigable, right? So being always determined and energetic in trying to achieve something is indefatigable. She's proven indefatigable in her fight against injustice. That means she fought against injustice and she was always determined to achieve, you know, just decisions about people who were facing injustice, right? So she's proven that she is always determined towards her work, towards her fight. He has been an indefatigable campaigner on this issue. That means he campaigned and he campaigned so hard, like he was always determined and energetic to achieve the results for his campaign. I pay tribute to them for all their hard work and indefatigable efforts, right? That means I am I am commenting that, uh, you know, they are such amazing people. I am all praised for them because they did such hard work and their efforts were energetic and determined to achieve something. So indefatigable efforts, right? So indefatigable means being always determined and energetic in trying to achieve something, right? Nowadays, people are very indefatigable. They have multiple sources of income and they're trying to build it by themselves, right? So yeah. That is indefatigable, just like this cricketer trying to achieve his goal. He's energetic, he's determined, right? Okay. Our next word is indemnify. Now, indemnify means to pay or promise to pay someone if they suffer damage or loss, right? For example, if uh, an insurance company is there, right? And you face a loss, so they indemnify you. Right? That means they pay for your damage or loss. So if you pay or promise to pay someone for their damage or loss, you are indemnifying them. The insurance company will indemnify you for the loss incurred. Whatever loss you faced, the insurance company would pay. Will you indemnify me in case they start burning things down? Right? Will you pay me if they burn my things down? He said best management practices will help to indemnify the farmer. So if we have good management practices, such practices would enable us to help to pay the farmers, right? If they suffer a loss. So indemnify the farmer, pay the farmer if they suffer a loss. So indemnify means to pay or promise to pay someone if they suffer damage or loss, right? That's indemnify. All right. Our next word, indiscernible. Indiscernible means impossible to see clearly or understand something. If you're not able to uh, understand what the thing is, it's bloody, hazy. So you say it's impossible to see clearly or it's indiscernible. I can't understand what it is. The crack in the windshield was almost indiscernible. That means the crack was so minute in the windshield that you can't tell it's there. It's impossible to see that crack clearly. So the crack was indiscernible. Fact, fiction and spin all melt together into an indiscernible fog, right? So facts, fiction and spin, all these things, they come together, they melt, you know, or they come all together into an indiscernible fog like they are trying to say that you can't understand it right it's such a messy thing so fact fiction and spin all melt together into an indiscernible fog impossible to understand clearly the future is uncertain the end of the crisis 
indiscernible. That means our future is uncertain and no one can clearly see the end of a crisis, right? So the end of the crisis is indiscernible, can't be seen. So this is like a metaphor. You can't really see the end of uh, anything, right? But you're trying to say that, uh, you know, you can't really guess how the end might be. So indiscernible means impossible to see something clearly or understand something clearly. Right? You can't understand or see that thing clearly. All right. Our next word is indolent. Now, indolent means wanting to avoid activity or exertion. Simply saying lazy. If someone is extremely lazy, they don't like moving around, they don't like working, they are you know, not trying to uh, tire themselves at all. They are indolent. I don't want to make friends with indolent people or indolent persons, right? I don't want to be friends with lazy people. Just like this guy here, he has everything uh, all set to watch the TV. He's not going to move an inch. So he's lazy. He's indolent. She was worried. She worried that she was becoming indolent and losing her English, right? So maybe she was not doing any efforts for learning English and that's why she worried that she was becoming becoming lazy. She was becoming indolent and she was losing her English. I was an indolent creature who could not imagine action. So I used to be a lazy person and could not imagine myself moving around or doing any activity. So indolent, wanting to avoid activity or exertion. Simple words, someone who's lazy is indolent. Okay. Industrious. Industrious means someone who is diligent and regularly working very hard. So it's an adjective to describe people who are extremely hardworking, right? Whatever work is given to them, they're doing it. So they're diligent and they work hard regularly. Every employee is expected to be competent and industrious. That means, of course, every company wants their employees to work hard regularly, not on occasions, right? So, yeah, industrious. This is clearly the work of a very talented and industrious scholar. So, this work, some work was done by a person and it seems like the person was very talented and he worked hard regularly, you could tell by his work. She was quiet, gentle, and good person, organized and industrious. So this girl seems amazing because she is quiet, she's gentle, she's good, she's a good person. She's organized and she's hard working regularly. So she's industrious. Industrious, diligent, or regularly working very hard. That means you are industrious, right? Okay. Let's not call ourselves industrious if we are cleaning our room uh, once in a month properly, working very hard, right? You can't be industrious. Okay. Next is inestimable. Inestimable means extremely great or too great to be described or expressed exactly. If you can't express something exactly because it's so amazing, if something is extremely great, you say it's inestimable, right? The medical importance of this discovery is of inestimable value. So if something is too good, you say it's inestimable. If something is too huge in value, right? You can't really tell how precious, precious it is. You say you can't really express the... Uh, the value of that thing in uh, words. So you say it's inestimably or precious or it has an inestimable value, right? The institution of the monarchy is of inestimable value to the... So the institution of monarchy is of inestimable value. That means you can't really express the value of monarchy for that country. The earthquake created an inestimable damage to the city, right? 
So the earthquake caused immeasurable damage to this city, right? You can't really tell how great the damage was. You can't estimate the limits of it. So you say it's inestimable damage, right? Inestimable, extremely great or too great to be described or expressed exactly, right? That is inestimable. All right. Next is infallible. Infallible means never wrong, failing, or making a mistake. If someone is never wrong, never fails, never makes a mistake, they are infallible. Now, the only person I know like that is maybe God, right? So, because we're humans, we are bound to make mistakes. But there are certain uh, processes that we know of which can be infallible which can never go wrong, which can never never fail, which can never see a mistake in their process. For example, DNA testing is an almost infallible method of identification. So the method of identifying a person by just uh, their DNA is quite common now and it is near, you know, perfection. It is not giving wrong results this process this method does not fail people you can tell actually who the person is so dna testing is an infallible method of identification even the experts are not infallible that means even the experts can make mistakes they are not infallible they are not perfect they are not not going to make mistakes juries are not infallible that means juries can also make mistakes, right? Innocent people are convicted and guilty people go free. Must have heard of it so many times. Innocent people have been sentenced to death and uh, sometimes guilty people, they are let go, like they are going free, right? So yeah, not even the juries are infallible, right? So infallible, never going wrong, never failing or never making a mistake. Right? Such a person is infallible. Okay. Ingenious. Ingenious means very intelligent and skillful. Clever, original, inventive. All the best words for a person in terms of their smartness, in terms of their brain, is ingenious. Ingenious is someone who is extremely smart, extremely intelligent, skillful, they can innovate things. They can create new things. They have their own ideas, right? She devised an ingenious solution to the problem. That means she came up with a solution to this problem. And the solution was her own, was original, was a great solution, was a clever solution, right? So that was an ingenious solution. She's very ingenious when it comes to finding excuses. That means she's very clever at finding excuses. So one can be clever at finding excuses also. So you can be ingenious at finding excuses, right? Your invention is ingenious, but not very practical. That means your invention is smart. It's a good way, good solution, good invention. It's original, it uh, seems clever, but you can't really see it in practical terms because it's not possible to do this. Okay, idea is good, but can't be executed. So ingenious means very intelligent and skillful, clever, original or being inventive is ingenious. Inimical. Inimical means being unfriendly, hostile, harmful or limiting. If you are unfriendly to someone, you are inimical. For example, excessive managerial control is inimical to creative expression. So if someone wants to creatively express themselves and managerial control is limiting it, right? So that is inimical, right? It's limiting. Managerial control limits people's creative expression. Authoritarianism, right? Authoritarianism is historically inimical to genuine invention. 
So if someone is excessively authoritative, they can be limiting to genuine inventions, right? People won't come up with new ideas because they would always be having someone on top of their head telling them, do this, don't do that, right? So people are not able to come up with their genuine inventions. These policies are inimical to the interests of the society. That means these policies are harmful to the harmful for the interest of the society. They would not do good for the society, right? So inimical means being unfriendly. For example, this group, right? These people, they are being inimical to her. They're being unfriendly. She has no idea what's happening. They're not sharing. They're being unfriendly. So inimical is being unfriendly, hostile, harmful, or limit. Okay. okay. In judicious, in judicious, in judicious means lacking in poor, lacking in or poor in judgment. When you are rash, when you are unwise, you take decisions by actually thinking about it, or you are making rash decisions, like careless decisions, right? Or you are lacking in making good decisions, or you are poor in judgment. You are injudicious, unwise. Number of road accidents caused by injudicious drivings, driving are rising. That means by careless driving, by rash driving, we are seeing the number of road accidents are rising. She had the habit of taking injudicious risks in any market, right? She had the habit of taking rash decisions, major risks in any market. She would just, you know, let's say, put her money in the market, would not think too much, would take rash decisions. So she was injudicious. He blamed injudicious comments by bankers for devaluation of the stock. So some people start blaming certain stocks, you know, they unwisely say stuff about the stock and then the stock's value in the market goes down, right? So just by conversations, the values of stocks can go down. So he was blaming those unwise comments as the reason for devaluation of the stock, right? So injudicious. Lacking in or poor in judgment, rash or unwise. That is injudicious, right? All right. Now let's revise. Injudicious, as we just discussed, something or someone, I would say someone, who lacks in making good judgment or who is poor in judgment, they are rash or they are unwise. The number of road accidents are caused because of injudicious driving, right? So injudicious means lacking in or poor in judgment. All right. So as we discussed, injudicious, lacking in or poor in judgment, rash or unwise, right? Inimical, someone who is unfriendly, hostile, Harmful or limiting. So a managerial decision can be limiting for expression of thought, right? So that is inimical. If you're being un unfriendly to someone, you are inimical, right? Any decision, any policy can be harmful for the society. So that would be inimical for the society, right? Okay. Ingenious, extremely intelligent and skillful clever and original anything that is inventive okay so if someone's ideas are clever right we say it's original right it's inventive so we would call that ingenious right an idea is ingenious right? a solution is ingenious but if someone has a very clever way of uh, you know escaping responsibility so you can also call them ingenious in Devising ways to evade responsibilities, right? That is ingenious. Infallible. Infallible means never going wrong, failing or making a mistake. If someone never makes a mistake, never goes wrong, never fails, they're infallible, right? For example, 
juries juries are not infallible they also make mistakes right sometimes they give uh, you know sometimes they sentence the uh, innocent to death and that that is an example of showing that they're not infallible right okay inestimable inestimable estimable means you are not able to tell the limit or not able to express the exact you know confinement of a thing you're not able to tell how great that thing is in value for example inestimable damage was caused by earthquake that means you can't really tell how much the damage was exactly so we'll just say it was inestimable right okay industrious industrious means diligent and regularly working very hard for example every company wants their employees to be industrious right regularly working very hard so that is industrious being a regularly hard working right that is industry indolent indolent is a lazy person if you are not someone who likes being active and uh, you are not into doing uh, you know active uh, uh, not participating actively in anything you are not going out running jogging playing with friends or going out with friends you're indolent you're lazy you don't want get yourself to get involved in activity so anyone who avoids activity or exertion is indolent or lazy right for example this person right here indiscernible something that cannot be seen clearly or cannot be understood clearly right impossible to see something clearly is indiscernible right for example if you have a very minute crack in the windshield so it is indiscernible you can't see it clearly right indemnify indemnify means to pay someone because of the loss that they incurred any loss or damage that a person is going to incur is indemnified right so insurance companies they indemnify the loss that you face right so that's indemnified indefatigable indefatigable means always determined and energetic in trying to achieve something right so if you are extremely determined to achieve something that means you are indefatigable okay you are you know you are pushing yourself you are uh, consistent in achieving your goal so you are indefatigable right for example this cricketer seems this bowler he seems very inclined to achieving his target so he is indefatigable right okay so thank you everyone see you soon